Hey everyone, it's Bobby from Lyco Birds with another fall warbler warm up video, and this one is going to cover Blackburnian warbler. Now, the spring males are pretty much unmistakable, but in the fall, you get more of these drab birds, um, which can pose a little more difficulty in identification. Um, so, if we just take a quick look at the overall impressions of the bird. Um, you have kind of this yellowish orange throat area and that can continue down a little bit into the chest and there's black streaking that goes down the sides that does not go into the center down the center and in the throat area. You have white wing bars often pretty strong and one of the main keys to the identification is actually this facial pattern. So you can see how pointed the dark cheek patch is. And if I jump to a side view, just look at the triangular shape here. Um, and that pointed look is, is pretty distinctive. And no other warblers really have that same, um, that same angular cheek patch and it's bordered by this yellow color again and you can see the wing bars again pretty strong um, another feature that's fairly unique and I'll switch to a top view um, these two almost white um, stripes that run the length of the back that's a uh, that's a unique feature to Blackburnian warbler. Um, none of the other warbler species have that. Um, maybe not terribly useful in the field most of the time because they don't tend to show you their back too much. Um, occasionally you'll see one down low, but oftentimes they hang out a little higher. Um, but if you see the back, that's a, a good feature to confirm. And also you can see this little yellowish um, stripe in the the forehead area and that's unique as well so um, if you know what to look for this isn't a an ID that um, is too difficult but like I said um, it's a little more subtle than the um, the males in the spring which are pretty blatant so hopefully this helps you please like and subscribe thanks for watching and I'll see you next time